What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. It is now Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the uh, to the sit down sports edition. You already know what we're gonna do. Um, this is our these are our predictions for the week. NFL predictions. Uh, yep. Last week, I actually had a really good week. I went ten and three. Ten and three. Surprisingly, I had a really good week, and Andrew didn't have such a good week. Went six and seven. So now we are two and two. We're all even. It felt worse than that. Oh my god! I, it, I made all these call outs. Like, I oh, know. the Falcons will get their first win. You were confident last week. Football team will <laughs> get a win against against the Rams. Stupid. <laughs> you were confident, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Bitch in the butt, but uh, yeah, let's, let's dive right in. Let's let's, let's, let's get it rocking. Uh, Broncos, Patriots. Mm -hmm. uh, Cam Newton should be back in this game. So, so do we have to decide now, though. Are we? Are, do we have to stick to the same picks no. that we had last week, or can no, we go off this week? Okay, I'm going Patriots. I'm going Patriots as well. Beautiful. Uh, I think with Cam Newton in this game, changes the dynamic. Drew Locke should also be in this game, but he's also been hurt. Sure. Um, and, and it's a throwing arm injury too. Exactly. So you got to so, you got to keep in mind what what is that going to do? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they might keep. Uh, Cam Newton on a, on a pitch count in terms of how much, how active they want him to be in running because, I mean, he is going to be tired from COVID. I would agree. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to go Patriots. I'm going Patriots as well. Uh, yeah. Titans, Texans. Uh, can the Titans, I mean, we don't know what they're going to do on, on, we don't know what they did on Tuesday because right. we were recording this in advance. Exactly. Uh, so, this is a bit of a difficult one, but I will still go Titans. I am as well. Because um, at the end of the day, if they beat the Bills, if they had already beaten the Bills, then they will, all right, great. You guys are on a roll. Keep yep. going. Do your thing. Uh, but if you lose to the Bills, then, all right, kick in the butt. you got a full week of practice now. Hopefully no more COVID cases. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys come in and go against the Texans. I think the thing with the Titans is going to be tricky is they're coming off a very short week, you know, playing today or playing sure. Tuesday, sorry, and then going right into a Sunday game. That's a very, very short week. That's yeah. the shortest week you've been having all of football in sure. quarter history. That's the shortest week you'll ever have, you'll yeah. ever see. So, um, but... The good thing with the Titans is that they're very simplistic in terms of what they do. We're going to run the ball down your throat, stop it. And unfortunately, I don't think the Texans are going to stop their run no. game. Um, um, yeah, I'm going Titans. All right, very cool. Uh, Browns, Steelers, this is a tough one. I'm going Steelers. I'm going to go Browns. I knew uh, you were. I love my Browns. <laughs> uh, I think they're doing real well this year. Um, and I think that Steelers defense, if, that play, if it plays anything like it did against the Eagles, uh, That's Brown, gonna be Browns going to eat that up. Yeah, agreed. But I do also do think that the Browns' defense played lights out, played better than what they usually would play. Mm -hmm. And I think the Steelers have a lot of weapons. And I just, I just like how, I like the Steelers, how they play. They play great football in all phases. Sure. And I just think the Steelers will be more consistent throughout the course of the game. Could be. And I think that's going to carry them to victory personally. So Could I'm be. going Steelers. Could be. It'll be a very good game. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Ravens, Eagles. I'm going Ravens. Mm -hmm. I think that was an uncharacteristic week, even though they won last week. Sure. I think that the Ravens will start to get their form again, and I think Lamar Jackson, watch out for him this week. I think he's going to throw the ball a little more effectively, mm -hmm. and they're going to take some deeper shots this week. That Eagles secondary is a little bit soft, yeah. and I think that they're going to try to capitalize on them this week, especially at the tight end position. Andrews, he's a force, and, yeah. they, and the Eagles have never been good with tight ends, yeah. and I think Andrews is going to have a big game for them. I'm going Ravens. I'm going to go Ravens as well. Um... I just think, you know... Lamar, and they're just a better team. <laughs> yeah, they're just a really a better football team. Uh, the Eagles are not going to get away with what they got away with against the Steelers, nope. I don't think. Um, especially with the Steelers coming off a, a longer week than they would have liked by week that may, may have cut some of their defensive momentum off. Right. Uh, Ravens aren't going to play that game. I think they're going to win this game. Agreed. Ravens are also good at beating uh, bad teams. Yes. Uh, football team, Giants. This is I, a tough one. I know who I'm picking. I think I'm going... I'm gonna go Giants. Oh my gosh, me too. I'm going Giants. I think the Giants are getting better every mm -hmm. week as a team. I think that last um, week against the Cowboys really helped them in terms of confidence. Absolutely, and I think as as a, a player on the Giants, you're not looking at the record anymore. Nope. You, you gotta forget that you're on five. Just get a. You really just gotta go week to week to week. Mm -hmm. And they played really well against the Cowboys. They did. Um, and I think they will play really well against the football team as well because I feel like they've only been getting better. Yep. And I don't like the quarterback play for the football team. Mm -hmm. That was my decision. Do I trust that quarterback play? I don't. I don't right. trust either quarterback. In more so, just because they're just not proven. Yep. You know. And Alex Smith. You know, if he's the starter, oof, just every time I see him it, take a snap, I'm tough. scared. It is I'm tough. just scared. Yep, absolutely. Uh, Falcons, Vikings. Will the Falcons get the first win? Nope. Going yeah. with, uh, I'm going Vikings. Yeah, I'm going Vikings as well. I'm going Vikings. Um, I think that. 
the, if the Vikings play again, if the Vikings play anything like they did against the Seahawks, the Falcons have no shot. No chance. Uh, that defense is just too good. Yep. Um, and now this team doesn't have a head coach that they've had for the past three years. Yeah. You're not going to come up. It's not going to be like the Texans where, you know, there were some head coaching issues and there mm-hmm. was some, some turbulence and all that kind of stuff. Dan Quinn just wasn't a good head coach. Doesn't seem to be. Towards, yeah. towards the tail end of yep. it, I guess. Didn't seem to be. Um, so we'll see what happens, but I think the Vikings take it. Uh, yep, agreed. Uh, Lions, Jaguars. This is one of the harder picks. This is. I'm going Jaguars. Okay. You know, because I think in terms of consistency and the level of qu- the play, the quality of play that they've been producing, I think it's more consistent and I like it more than I like the Lions' level of play. I'm going Jaguars. I'm going to go Lions. <laughs> um, I think Matthew Stafford, after a week of rest, will have some time to uh, – he really has had time to study a Jaguars' yeah. defense that no is very – it's Swiss cheese. It is wishy washy. Um, yeah. So I think he'll be able to pick that apart. He's a good quarterback, and they're going to put up a lot of points at the end. Okay. We'll see. Um, Bengals, Colts. I'm going Colts because yeah. I think the recipe, and I think what everybody knows about the, the Bengals, the recipe to beat the Bengals, just apply a ton of pressure on that offensive line, that and Joe Burrow is bad. done for. Yeah, that offensive line is bad. And terrible. Um, Colts are going to show up on defense. I'm going Colts as well. Yeah, going Colts. Um, Bears, Panthers. Ooh. Panthers. Okay. I'm going Panthers. You heard it here first. I'm going Bears. Uh, I think the Bears are for real. I think that defense is good. I think that defense is going to make the Panthers make mistakes. Because um, the Panthers play well from ahead. But I, I think uh, Nick Foles is going to do his thing. You want to know how the Panthers are going to beat the Bears? They're going to establish a run game yeah. early. Good. Early, and you had said last week in the Buccaneers they lost the game because they did not Very establish well a run game. Very well could. And that's that's the the Bears are actually surprisingly good against the pass. Sure. But you see when they play teams that are balanced, they don't do so well. Their one loss came. I don't know who did they lose to. Do you remember off the top of your head? No. I'll get back to that. I'll get back to that right. later. But uh, but I, I think I think the Bears win. Um, I just think they're a better football team at this point. I think the Panthers are a good football team, but. I just, I think the Bears are just, they're doing, they're doing well. And I, I don't think it's fair to say um, that the Panthers will beat them. Uh, Jets, Dolphins. All right, say your pick on three. One, two, three. Dolphins. Dolphins. Moving on. <laughs> Packers, Bucks. Um, what do you think? I'm going Packers. Okay. I'm going Pack, and it hurts me to do it because I got yeah, some strange reason. To I have I have skin in the game when it comes to the Buccaneers this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tom Brady, Gronkowski, of course, but sure. I just think the Packers are. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is just too damn good right now. Yep. And although I do like that Buccaneers defense, they have a tendency to give up bad big plays down the field. Mm-hmm. And Aaron Rodgers is very good at making defenses pay. Yep. And uh, I think they have Devontae Adams back this week. Yep. So he's so like going to be a threat, like always. And yep. Aaron Jones is going to do what he does. He's not going to have a bigger presence because that run, that, that front seven of the Buccaneers is sure. nasty. Yep. Nasty. But I think Aaron Rodgers is going to have his way with that secondary. Yeah, I'm going Packers as well. Yeah. You pretty much said it all. Um, I think the Packers, the Aaron Rodgers is too nasty. Your second, uh, your secondary. The Bucs secondary is just not very good. Mm-hmm. They have a good pass rush, but... I think the Packers are smart enough to run the ball enough to slow down that pass. Agreed. Uh, Rams, Niners. Rams. Uh, yeah, I'm going Rams as well. I don't, I don't even need to talk about that. I don't think the Niners are going to compete, really. Nope, I don't either. Uh, Chiefs, Bills. I'm this curious is a good see, one. I'm curious to see where you go. You want to know what I think? Mahomes is going to bounce back off an uncharacteristically bad week. Mm-hmm. Bad week for his standards. Sure. Um, that Bills defense is nasty. But at the same time, I think Patrick Mahomes has an innate ability to make really good defenses seem subpar when he needs okay. to. I think if Mahomes can keep things simple and make the right plays and make those outstanding plays when they need to be sure. made, not when he wants to try to make them happen, Sure. I think they'll run away with this one. I'm going Chiefs. Uh, I'm going to go Bills. Uh, strictly because... You can't go wrong with either one. No, you, you really can't. <laughs> I think... Pat Mahomes could go one of two ways. He could do what you're saying, where he'll learn from his mistakes in the previous week. Or, in my scenario, I think he's going to try and do more. Mm, very interesting. That's going to be a problem. Yes. They're, the Bills are going to stop the run early. The 
the Chiefs are going to want to pass the ball a lot. Pat Mahomes will have 50 passes in this game. Mm. He will throw the ball 50 times. And he will be around 50% completion. It's going to be close. Yeah, but that, I, think, I think the Bills win. That might be game of the week this week. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> uh, I'm glad that's a 5 o'clock Monday night game. Agreed. That's gonna be a, I, I'm glad I'm going to be able to stay up and watch yep. it. Uh, cards, Cowboys, that's the later game on Monday night. That's a tough pick there. Uh, I'm going to go Cowboys. I am as well. Um, I, think, I am as well. I think the Cardinals are just, again, too... They're too soft. Too inconsistent. They're too inconsistent, yep. right? Uh, and the Cowboys aren't exactly the example of consistency no, either. No, they're not. But that offense is too good, um, and I think they, they they I think they're in the mode right now of we're playing for Dak. Yep. And that that's and I think that's a lot of the reason why you saw this surge in the fourth quarter from mm-hmm. them, where they played super well and they they made a lot of plays. Um, and Kyler Murray has struggled against not very good defense. Yes, he has. And so and the Cowboys defense is better than the Jets, I think. Agreed. And, um, and here's my thing. Here's what I'm hanging my hat on. The Cardinals don't play well with the lead. No. And the Cowboys play really well when they don't have a lead. Yep. So I can I can see this game going completely like it did with the Giants last week. Mm-hmm. The Cow the Cardinals come out early, they get a nice lead. Jets. Oh. Jets. No, no, I'm talking about the Cowboys. Oh! So the Cowboys are playing the Giants, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Giants got out to a, a nice, good lead. Quick start. A nice, healthy lead, right? And then they spit it away. Sure. I very well see it being the exact same thing. Every Cowboys win has been the exact same formula thus far, and I don't see it going any different, especially because, like I said, the Cardinals don't play well in front. Yep. They don't. So they play well when it's close, but they have a lead. But when they have a lead and they're trying to maintain, they don't know how to do that. Spit it away. Yep. They don't know how to do it. Uh, so our bye weeks are Chargers, Raiders, Seahawks, Saints. Um, a lot of I, tough buys this I year. I believe those are all standard buys. I don't know if anyone was given a buy this week because of COVID situations. I don't from believe any previous so. Weeks. I think those are all what they were scheduled to be. Yeah. Um, we have a few differences in our ske- in our picks, but I feel confident. I do too. I'm feeling good about it. And a lot of them are similar this week. You yeah. know, I think the ones we Lots need to highlight players. are Chiefs, Bills. Yep. Uh, we need to highlight Brown Steelers, Bears, Panthers, Bears, Panthers. Um, we need to highlight. I think, uh, did you get Brown, Brown, Brown Steelers? Brown Steelers. Yeah, those, I think we really only different on three. Yep. Um, so I do want to make I do want to make a clarification. If Broncos Patriots play, and Cam Newton is not playing at all. Taking Broncos. Okay, I'm still going Patriots. All right, all right. I'm glad we're there. So okay. if Cam Newton's out, so you're going Broncos. I'm going Broncos. Okay. If he's in, that's fair. I'm going. I'm that's going fair. Patriots. That's fair. Okay, cool. Um, that's it. That's it. Nice and quick and easy. Okay, hey, gotta love it. That was my favorite kind of videos right there. I love it, man. <laughs> nice and quick. But all right, y'all. That was it. Nice and quick and simple, easy, pretty painless. On um, those are our week six predictions. You already know who it is, my man Andrew. You already know what this is. Uh, the sit down. Sports edition, week six predictions. I had said it four times already. <laughs> and don't forget to you know leave comments. Don't forget to uh, make any predictions in the, in the comments below. Anything yeah. you see or anything you, you might stick out to you. Let us um, know how stupid we are. Exactly right. Let us know how dumb we are. Um, and we will we'll see you guys next Tuesday. We're going to go over our week six picks and hopefully uh, we had a pretty good week and yep. you know, no significant injuries. Everything goes yep. according to plan. Let's get COVID out of here. Like, get them out. It. Yep. Get them out. But hey, all right, y'all, that's it for this week. Uh, We'll see y'all next week for week six. But until then, y'all take it easy. We'll see you later. Peace.